everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another video for you and I wanted to do kind of like, I really honestly did not know what I wanted to do today, but I knew that I wanted to do something bronzy and different from what I've usually done and usually I'll always put tape on the edges of my eyes and do a winged liner and today I didn't do that. I skipped the tape, I made it a more of a rounded eye and then I did no eyeliner and I just did a nice simple bronzy look for you guys. Um, I used the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I got a sample from Sephora a while ago, and it's completely not my skin tone, but I kind of worked with what I had, and I love it. I feel like it made my skin so, like, luminous, which is what it's supposed to do, but I really, really like it. I think I'm going to go back and get it. But yeah, this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoy it. I wanted to do something different. I mean, this really isn't that different, but... Um, from what I usually do with like the tape and stuff, but I really hope you guys enjoy this look If you do make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're watching this video on a computer It'll be right here for you I'll link it and if you're watching it on like a phone or what a uh, phone or mobile device It'll be down below if you want to subscribe to my channel But yeah, thank you guys so much again for watching if you have any requests make sure you leave them in the down um, no in the description box below all products that I used on my face as well as just coupon codes if you want to know some uh, coupon codes or whatever that will be in the description box below so yeah make sure you check that and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video bye guys hey everyone so because you always see me priming my eyes first I did that off camera so I'm just jumping right into the tutorial and I'm going in with the morphe Jaclyn Hill favorites palette and the shade that I'm using is the second row and it's the second color so I hope that makes sense. The clip in the beginning will show you a good area of where I got the color, but it's just a matte brown, light brown shade. I'm just putting that in my crease as my transition color. Next, going in with row two, uh, the color number three. Um, it's a it's kind of a darker brown, and I'm just putting that all over my eye as well. I'm keeping the look very rounded. I want it to be a rounded look. Then taking the second row, fourth shade in the um, row. I'm putting that all over my crease just to deepen up the look even further. And I'm using a Sigma E25 brush to be blending all this, all these colors out. Now going in with Mary Luminizer by the Balm and I'm going to be highlighting my brow bone. And then after that I'm going to be just further blending all the colors a little bit more better together. That made no sense. But I'm taking the Second row, fifth color, and I'm wetting the brush before I do this. That way the color goes on a little bit more pigmented. And I'm also packing on the color. I'm not swiping it on. I'm packing it. So as you can see here, the color is so pigmented. And I just think this these colors go really well together. Then just taking my blending brush and further blending everything out. And then I'm going to be highlighting my inner corner with the same Mary Luminizer by the Bomb. Just because I want a nice uh, inner corner highlight. Now just taking a makeup wipe, just uh, taking off some of the excess uh, fallout that I have and also cleaning up the edge a little bit. I made it still rounded as you could see here. Now just taking a black, I mean, I'm sorry, a brown eyeliner pencil and I'm putting that on my tight line and my waterline. And then I'm going to be going in with my favorite, favorite, favorite lashes of all time. They are the Doo Doo Lashes in style D105. And if you use uh, my code Karina Marie, you will get... Uh, discount at checkout. I will leave that code down below for you, but these are my all-time favorite lashes I literally just ordered five more pairs But I am obsessed with these the band is thin So you're able to wear them with a look like this without a winged liner So I mean all the bands are thick. I mean all the bands are thin so you are able to do this Sometimes with thicker bands, it's harder to wear um, them with like a look when you're not wearing winged eyeliner, but these worked perfectly I love these so much and I wasn't really in the camera, the shot for this, so I'm taking the just a matte brown shade, and I'm just uh, smoking out my lower lash line. And then I'm taking the Kat Von D, pe like eyeliner pencil or pen, and I'm putting that over my um, like the wing, the the my lash band, just to make it look a little bit more like I'm not wearing lashes, even though this step was very unnecessary. Then just adding mascara and then moving on to our face because our eyes are officially done. Now I'm just wiping off what I had on my uh, baking 
But I did just put up a foundation routine, so if you want to see my entire foundation routine, I will leave that down below for you. It's very in-depth, it's like 25 minutes long, but if you want an in-depth foundation routine, I would definitely check that out. So now I'm taking Becca Cosmetics with the Jaclyn Hill um, Collaboration Champagne Pop Highlighter and putting that on my highest points of my face, which is my cheekbones, my nose, and my cupid's bow. Next, I'm going to be lining my lips. I'm just using a nude lip liner from Clinique. And then I'm going to be going in with a color called Airy Fairy by Revlon, I believe it is. And then I'm going to be putting on a NYX, um, what is this, a NYX uh, Butter Gloss in the color, uh, I forget the color name. It's not Fortune Cookie, but again, I'll leave everything down below for you just in case you want to check it out. Then after that we are done, we are going to be spraying our face to lock this whole look in and we are finally completed with the look. I really hope you guys enjoy this. Make sure you leave down below in the comments what you would like to see next. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.